Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 31st of January, 2019. What Margaret Sanger wouldn't give to see the progress that her abortion programs have reached. Title, Watch Democratic Virginia Governor Endorses Murder of Born Alive Infants, written by Ben Shapiro, S-H-A-P-I-R-O. On Wednesday, in a shocking revelation about the nature of the pro-abortion Democratic Party, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, a supposed moderate, endorsed the notion that a woman should be able to let an infant born alive die on the table if she decided she did not want the child. There's an embedded video that I'll attach. Appearing on WTOP Ask the Governor, Northam was asked whether he supported a Virginia legislative statement that Virginia Democrats proposed legislation would permit abortion for a woman in labor, he stated. This is why decisions such as this should be made by providers, physicians, and the mothers and fathers that are involved. When we talk about third trimester abortions, these are done with the consent of the mother, with the consent of physicians, more than one physician, by the way, and it's done in cases where there may be severe deformities. There may be a fetus which is non-viable. So in this particular example, if the mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly what would happen. The infant will be delivered, the infant will be kept comfortable, the infant will be resuscitated if this is what the mother and family desired, and then the decision would ensue between the physician and the mother. This is pure infanticide. It's also an argument of eugenic murder. See his comments about deformities. Northam is specifically talking about delivering an infant alive and then asking the mother whether the infant should live or die. This is not an argument about the morning after pill. It's not an argument over whether a fetus feels pain. This is a statement that a fully formed infant born alive ought to be murdered if the mother says the infant ought to be murdered. This is pure evil. And yet this is the position of Democrats across the country. Northam was speaking about a bill proposed by Virginia House member Kathy Tran, her mother should have aborted her, which would legalize abortion up to birth. Tran had explained just yesterday that a woman should be able to opt for abortion as she is dilating for birth. In New York, this is already the law, and Governor Andrew Cuomo Democrats celebrated the law by lighting up state sites pink in honor of the killing of fully formed infants. In Rhode Island, Governor Gina Rambodo, Democrat, has already signaled that she wishes to support a similar law. Northam excuses his evil by stating that men shouldn't be making these decisions, as though having male genital excuses the moral frankly is necessary to stand by and watch the killing of newborn baby. But this is no excuse, obviously. The Democrats have decided that the era of safe, legal, and rare is over. The era of shout your abortion is here. And if that means dehumanizing already born children, so be it. Simply put, the American people do not deserve the care of a beloved God if they embrace such evil. Folks, are you sort of getting a clue that Democrats are themselves evil? Just look at their history. The Ku Klux Klan, the Jim Crow laws, the sanctuary cities, the list goes on and on. You want to pass this along to like-minded friends? You want to repost it in all your social media accounts? Absolutely, completely, and totally disgusting. That's what I think. Thanks for listening.